terrorists. Hold on. Here's Tara's Daily Rant. It was about Elon Musk's tweet on the 29th, his prediction. There was a reason he sent it on the 29th. He said the real, the uh, commercial real estate industry is going to collapse. And he was actually uh, commenting on a Bloomberg article at the time that was essentially proposing the same thing. Why would Elon Musk send that tweet on the 29th of all days? That was the day that the Break America debt ceiling package passed the House and the Senate. And what that did was lock in the COVID spending rates. COVID spending rates give us 7 to 9% inflation. We don't have an emergency anymore. Why we're still spending like it's an emergency, 40% higher than normal. I don't know, but we have to borrow and print it all. What does that cause inflation? What does inflation cause interest rates to go through the roof? What is pending between now and mid-2025? The biggest ever due date for bulk payoff of commercial loans. And these commercial properties across the country are 60 to 70% occupied. This is going to take entire communities down. And Elon Musk predicted it would uh, roll over into a housing price collapse of 15 to 20%. I believe him. I, I'm sure he's got better advisors than anyone in the mainstream media. And we're seeing the beginning of that housing collapse or that uh, commercial real estate collapse. As all those notes come due, the largest number of them, by the way, over the next five years, you're going to see cities look burnt out and vacant. And it's already starting in San Francisco. That's what happened. It's a combination of blue cities being absolutely unlivable. The lockdowns, which showed businesses, hey, you know what? You can have workers work from home and you save a lot of money doing that. You don't need all the commercial space. You know, the fake lockdowns, which turns out we didn't even need. They don't do anything. And they might have actually helped COVID to spread. Hurt our economy for no reason. But hey, we don't do anything that makes sense in this country. That's right in keeping with that. Did you see what just happened in San Francisco? This is historic. And it is shocking. And it's the beginning of the real estate collapse. What just happened was Park Hotels, which is owned by Hilton, okay, just said, we're walking away from our hotel. We're, we're just going to walk away from it. We're going to abandon it. it, it South, San Francisco, is we, we can't make it work there. We can't do it anymore. Okay, listen to what they walked away from. $725 million loan with the bank. They said, we're just not paying it. We're going to default. We give up. We can't stay in San Fran. This will wipe 10% of the hotel rooms in San Francisco right off the books. Gone. That's what they represent, 10%. And they said, look, there's no convention business left. That's gone. People afraid to come to San Francisco. And you get that with these blue cities. You're thinking, well, that's just blue San Francisco. Yes, but most of the big cities in our country are blue. And they're going to be hollowed out shells that'll look post-apocalyptic. We're looking at that. That it's going to affect the entire country. Terrorists want it. Hear the Terror Show weekday mornings on News Talk 98.9. W-O-R-D, the voice of the Carolinas.